So Dr. White just came in and evaluated Ms. McKinney for sealants. And I am going to do number 30. So first I'm going to pumice the tooth. And then if you're doing multiple sealants on a person, you can pumice all of the teeth at the same time because they're not going to be doing anything to get anything in their teeth. Pumice it off thoroughly. Okay, and now you want to place your isolation. We're going to use a dry angle to cover the parotid gland and the silver side, if it has a silver side, some of them don't have silver sides, they're white and white, but if there is a silver side, it goes towards the inside of the mouth, the white goes towards the cheek. So I'm going to see how I bent this a little bit. If you don't bend it, it can be, can be kind of pokey. So I'm going to stick this right back here to control that saliva. And I'm going to stick a cotton roll in the outside of number 30. I'm just kind of push it in there. Don't be afraid to just push it in there. You're not going to hurt them by pushing a cotton roll into their gingiva or um, buckle meat toaster. And now I'm going to suction her out just a bit and place the cotton roll by her tongue. Lift her tongue up for me. Oh, look, she knows what to do already. <laughs> so I've been doing these a long time and I know how how I like things done. If you have an assistant, tell them how you want things done. Um, but this is just my, the way I do it. So I'm going to spray this off with air, get it real dry. And then I'm going to apply some essence. Oh, this is so hard. And feel free to be generous with your essence. Generous with your etchant and conservative with your sealant. Can you use the cotton roll in both in real practice? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I always do. You cannot trust the person's tongue mm -hmm. or their saliva to not get on the tooth. It just, you just can't trust them. All right, so it's been on there 20 seconds. You see how I'm going to spray the water across the tooth into the suction? Mm -hmm. I use, um, Down there, buddy. I use the um, low speed because I just don't feel comfortable with the high speed in the mouth. And you see, did you see how I come out here and blew the air off because so I got all the air out of the line? And then I'm going to dry this off until it looks chalky, which I feel like that's good there. And we're going to apply some sealant. I grabbed the Quintro so that you would have a visual. So like, um, I was saying a while ago, I put a little bit into the occlusal surface there, and then I'm just going to spread it out. And then I'm going to try to go down the buccal groove. Hers is not very prominent, so I'm really not going to be able to get anything in there. But if the buccal groove is prominent, you do need to get down in that. Yeah, I kind of feel like I got a little too much in the middle of the occlusal. So I'm going to just, if you're using a micro brush, be really, really light with it. Because these suck things, suck the sealant up real, real quickly. Okay, so I feel like that's good. It's just in the tips and fissures. And I'm going to cure, I like to cure, um, I don't have a seal, don't look so light. I like to cure molars for a minute. That's just my personal preference, um, regardless of what tooth you're doing. It has to be at least 30 seconds.
and you can change the time on most hearing lights. Apparently this one is set at 10 seconds. Okay, I'm going to check that because this is a fairly thin sealant anyway. Oh, that's still a little tacky. Doing all right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna feel that again feels better this time, so it's harder. So I checked it, check the edges, make sure it's good. I want to take a few tip and wipe off the air inhibited layer. And then I'm gonna take the isolation out. So usually the tongue, the one under the tongue will come out real easily, depending on how much saliva your patient has. The one on the, the dry angle may come out easily or not. Hers is pretty soaked. Sorry about that. So you're okay. saying I got put water on the yeah. inside of it so it'll come out easier? Yep, yeah, put water on it, soak down your isolation so that um, it doesn't leave like that stringy. As soon as they have um, molars erupt, yeah. All right, I need to check the inner proximals to make sure I didn't seal my teeth together with floss. And then I need to check her occlusion to make sure it's not too high. So dry off your tooth. Place the articulating paper on top of it. I place it on the mandible just because it's easier to um, lay. Bite down, chomp, grind your teeth together. Open. Okay. So it is normal to have any cusp show up as blue because that's when the where the teeth normally occlude. You have issues if you have a spot that is down in the middle of the tooth or down where a pit or fissure was that is showing up blue, then we would have to adjust it. And I think that's okay. We got a little spot there, but I think that may be where she normally bites. Close your teeth together for me. How's that feel? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if this was your patient,